No, I've been really bad with my streaming the last two weeks. I haven't done much streaming at all. And uh, so I've, I've almost caught up on all my, like all my backlog of stuff that I've been putting up on YouTube. I've almost caught up. I've only got like three or four more episodes. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, because you guys haven't been doing Pig's Pod in a good month. Yeah, yeah. Um, Oreo has some uh, uh, family issues with his oh. extended. Yeah, it's some um, the death in the family, and it's just put him behind. And yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, it was an unexpected death, and uh, um, that's important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, that slowed me down, and then, you know, like I said, even on top of that, you know, I hadn't been doing any of my own stuff, and which I should have been. And Well, you got this happening. Yeah, so like I said. On an I, average of bi-weekly. Yeah, and if I, if I stay smart on it and break it up every hour, hour and a half, because uh, that's about how long my, my I really want to stay around an hour on on that stuff yeah that's that's a good length for a, a long form video yeah Ugh. well let's see where I am at on my release schedule while you're working on that See, I've got stuff scheduled out through the 11th, so I got. Oh no, I got some extra stuff here too. Ooh, I haven't said any of that yet. Okay, I got a little bit of extra stuff here. Right, we're just going to call that good because the rest of it will fit in the other trailer. All right. Doggies. Really wish that bridge wasn't there. I mean, if it wasn't, you'd just go into the river. Well, I really wish that river wasn't there. Fair enough. <laughs> Do it. Okay, we're good. Oh, you almost did it. Uh, make sure you dump out your bed, too. Yes. 
because we have 7,700 left, and I think that's both of our beds. Actually, no, that's not correct. Beds are only 2,500 total. I've got... Well, I don't know. I'll tell you in a second. Five hundred and eleven. Yeah, if you dump that sucker out, like unhook from your trailer and then. Yep. Eh, don't worry about it. Actually, we'll take it back with this little guy. Uh, not too late. Poop. Mm. Managed to Austin Powers both the truck and the tractor in here. Nice. I think I can get it. I pulled the I pulled the red trailer we have straight forward into here. Way too overconfident in my skills to back it out. Look out, car. Jesus, you saw me pulling out. Yeah, like, why would you get in front of a monster truck in the middle of the road? Pulling a trailer. Driven by Americans who, at this point, are for sure to have a reputation. Oh, yeah, you know it. What am I hung on now? Oh, my God. It, it, the, it, the trailer's stuck on the car. <sighs> Bro, <laughs> leave. No, don't block me. You... Oh. If you if you swap out, swap back, it'll disappear. Jesus Christ, where did all this traffic come from? That's a good question. Holy shit! <laughs> Blocking you in. <laughs> wait, wait till you see. There's so much traffic. Oh, I know. I'm. <laughs> oh, that is funny. That's like every car in the map right now. Yeah, they're like they're all. Let's go fuck with the dumb American. But guess what? It worked. They fucked with me. <laughs> I hope they're all there when you go through. Oh, they are. They're still there. I got this. Driving towards them at like 60 miles an hour. They don't even know how fast it is because they measure it kilometers an hour. So fast you can't even see me. You know, I really think the biggest enemy on this uh, this series is our lack of patience. Yes. Yes. Like this, this really what it is. Holy crap! We filled up the uh, the BGA. We nice. can't sell here anymore. So they process all of this. Cool. Which is fine. We'll just go over to the livestock market, and sell the rest there. Uh, is that where, another case where we should buy the bio mar the bio market now? If we had, I think it's a mill and a half. So yes, actually, that would be another case where we'd want to buy the biogas plant if we had the if we had the funds, but we don't. We are but poor farmers with two very souped-up monster trucks. Well, that's why we're poor. Woe is us. You know, it's funny how that works. The more toys you have, the the more likely you are to be quote unquote poor. <laughs> Your cash, poor. <laughs> yes, you are cash poor. Because you make poor decisions. Have I told you about my coworker? No. Who 
so four years ago, I guess, she got into a car accident okay. with a car that she had a loan on. Okay. And did not have insurance on. What? Which, first off, who uh -oh. the fuck gave you a loan with no insurance? Yeah, how was that that's, not how was that not checked out? So yeah, but how how was how was that go through? B. Um, why didn't you have insurance on this car, on this car that you have a thirteen thousand dollar loan on? So, and, and well, the the answer is she didn't have the money to pay for it. And uh, she had to have it towed. She couldn't pay for the tow. So she gave the title for this car that was mm, probably still worth about 4K in scrap fees. So how do you, let me interrupt you. How do you reset a truck? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at your new amphibious truck mm -hmm. that you just purchased. Yeah. So you have to go to the map and then find its icon on the map. Uh -huh. And then once you select it, you should be able to press a button that says reset on. I don't know what it will be for the Xbox. Mm. Let me back up. Maybe to the map. There's the truck. Ah, reset. Anyway, scrap value. Yep. So, like, you know, she she didn't have the money to pay for the tow, and the tow driver, when they got to the yard, was like, well, you can just give us the title. And she's like, sure. So she gave up $4,000 worth of scrap value for a $300 tow, maybe. <laughs> and, you know, and, and she's now, you know, 13 k in debt to the loan company because they don't have a fucking car. Yeah. Funny how that works. No insurance means you probably don't have gap insurance. That's that's very correct. So yeah, that's so, uh, that's a rough time. How do you get it? How did she have? The, did she have insurance and then let it la I, we, lapse? She was just like you know, the loan company I had was shady. I'm like, what did you get a fucking loan shark? Like. Oh no, you God. didn't, because you'd, you'd be dead if you owed a loan chart, you know, 13k. But, um, no, and it's like, yeah, now, and now they're, um, garnishing her wages, because she has a full settlement against her that she didn't, you know, fight or anything. Well, how would you in that case? But she didn't even show up to court. Yeah, well, if you can't afford the car, you can't afford the tow, you probably can't afford to fight the charge either. Or Very fight true, the case. Yes. Yeah. Right, so... Garnishing her wages at a rate of 33% per month. Ouch! Which is fucking huge, right? And then... Me and everybody else in there have been like, Okay, look, you need to go talk to a bankruptcy lawyer on this, okay? You have nothing. You rent an apartment. And you own your car. Okay, they, they literally have nothing that they could take from you. If you yeah. declare bankruptcy. Yep. And you don't even have student loans. You could literally just reset the slate for you. You're going to have to pay. You're, you're not getting out of the full payment, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> but you you will not have to pay that full 13 k Which has been more now because they added interest from the time between the car crash and getting the settlement. And as far as I could tell in the actual settlement they got, they're still getting interest on what's still owed. Probably. It's like, look, you're going to be paying a lot more than 13000 in the end. And she just, you know, won't do it. Well, She's worried the lawyer it's going to cost too much. Like, they specialize in people who are broke. Yeah, if they're bankruptcy lawyers, they're they're going to under... They, yeah, they know you they ain't got no have, money. It's not going to be free. You are correct. But they're going to figure out a way so that they can serve you and get paid. Because they wouldn't be a very good bankruptcy lawyer if they weren't. And then luckily, somebody in the 
the cell that I work in. I, I should mention, the whole company is cell-based, like, you know, we have one cell that specifically does this job, and that's why right. I keep saying cell. Right, and I get it. Other people are like, you work in a prison? No, I don't no. work in a fucking prison. That's how we work. It's, it's cells. Every cell is independent of another. We just, everyone feeds each other. But anyway, somebody else in the cell had already declared bankruptcy. So he was familiar with the process. He was like, yeah, at the end, the lawyer tacked on 1500 in fees. Like, wow, that's fairly reasonable to not have to pay the full price of yeah. 13k yeah, you're and gonna, counting. Yeah, you, you end up having to pay probably five grand at the most. And it's like, what are you doing? And she's like, yeah, I can't really pay that. Okay, but you just bought a $600 couch that you stated you're going to leave at the apartment when you leave because it's not even an official lease that you're in. You're just renting some dude's, like, upstairs of his oh house. Oh, God. It's like, what are you doing with your life? Well, some people have to learn the hard way. Yeah, she's very good at not learning the hard way. But still doing the hard way, I feel like. All right, cool. Well, we've actually got most of our tasks done that we needed to do. We've got all the tasks done for this month. And I can see that you're having fun fishtailing with lower. No, I'm, I'm working. Damn I mean, it. I mean, work can be fun. Yeah, I'm working. Work can be fun. Um, I was to say, yeah, this is one of the few things we could still do. <laughs> it's I like actually, like I'm, I'm being productive. No, I just saw the I just saw the truck going across the horizon and the mower flinging behind it, thinking, <laughs> oh. Hmm. I wonder what he's up to over there. <laughs> you know, things. And I didn't know what else we were doing, so it's like, oh, I guess I can be somewhat productive. That's, that's, that's very fair. But I need to turn around you. And go ahead and return this guy cool everything's returned well you're actually actually I want to go ahead and clean off the wind rover because that sucker is dirty Looks like somebody threw like brown paint on it Maybe I can't hook into this one. No, you need to grab the this little green thing right here that I'm standing next to and back that up to it. Because oh. that's technically a three-point attacher on the front of that. And that uh, that little oh, trailer yeah, dolly yeah. has a three-point on it. Why we, that's it's the only reason we have that sucker laying around is so I can use that weeder. Boink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last time we played, you were reading off a list of Unity games. Yeah. 
And one of them was, like, Veloc Velociraptor 4x4 Off-Road Safari. Uh-huh. I found it, and I actually played it. Okay. And it's literally a Velociraptor driving a Land Rover around, running over dinosaurs. Oh, my God. Pushing crates into it. But one of the things you can do is drop a freaking flail out the back of it. Like, just a straight-up old-school medieval flail running off the back of your car. That's what that reminded me of, just a flail coming off the back of your truck. Yeah, once we get uh, once we s get the corn harvested and then sold, I just think about some buildings. Yeah, you know what? That sounds fun. I think I'll I think I'll probably just grab a building pack. The buildings they do have in this game are fucking expensive. Alright, while you're finishing up, I want to use the restroom real quick. Alright, sounds good. <clears throat> Alright, so what's next? Well, what what's next is uh, sleeping. Oh, cool. The next month. And then the last thing that we had on my to-do list today was uh, selling the furniture in oh. July. Cool. Well, let's do that. And, and that'll... besides that, we can really do anything else. But it's got to be contracts. Ah, uh, well, so we, we can see good contracts for like harvesting. We might want to go grab that real quick. I was gonna say we can make we... a couple extra thousand dollars. I was say we can sell the uh, sell the furniture and wrap that up, and we'll just go ahead and maybe just call it a night. All right. And then uh, sounds good to me. We'll be ready for next week for Rabble and quite possibly, or not Rabble, sorry for Mystery and uh, quite possibly uh, Obi Wayne. Yeah, I'm hoping he can uh, join us then. So, if we the last thing we want to do is sell the furniture, yep. Then all we need to do is actually sleep another month, because the best time to sell that is July. Okay. Go ahead and sleep another month away. Sleeping it away. The Americans have gone into hibernation. Didn't they go into hibernation in the winter last time? <laughs> it's, that's the art of war is just to remain unpredictable 
That's very true. <laughs> Think about it. We were at war during uh, World War II with France. It's true. After they got taken over. All right. So what's next? Um. Well, you got to go down to the carpenter. Pick up the trailer that is there. And sell off that furniture down to the, at the uh, the farm shop. Uh, furniture, trailer, furniture, right here. Oh yeah, right there. Yep. All right. So the north, northeast. Wow, these are spotless. It's yes, sir. In the mowers. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, still needed more money after this, which I don't think we will. We can sell the planks that are sitting here, but it's just you know they haven't been turned into furniture yet, so they're not at the full at their fullest oh, potential. We don't, do, we don't want to do that. Ah. But like you know, if we needed some money, nah, we've got quite a lot of planks here. got 60k of planks just oh my god just saw you come around the corner <laughs> no, we don't want to do that just want to make more furniture yep no it's true but like we need an extra 60k all of a sudden that is an option all right where am i taking it to the farm shop where's that wherever Lee Jordan's Farmer Farm Shop. Supposed yeah. Sell the strawberries. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, they're. Oh, okay. So west of us. All right, I can do that. Oh yep. fuck. Hope you like my pile of wood over here. Came over here with the uh, the felt loader to shut. Think for here. Hey, whatever works. Woohoo! All the lag. Oh. Maybe it's time to call. We're all in here. There was. Oh, like everything's lagging. Even. Yeah, the stream went out for me. It's... It says it's bad. Lag, lag right on top of the uh, the train tracks, and then get hit by the train. Yeah, there's that. No, I think everything's good now. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it's like there was a hiccup. All right, do I? Where do I sell? Probably it's going to be there. through there, and then part of it's like a little little four corners on the parking lot. There it is. You have to remember to switch to the actual like whatever that is, the wagon bed. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that money soar. Holy cow. Holy, holy crap. That is a lot. Oh, man. If only we Just had an short. extra 1,200. Just short. 69,000. All right. So I'll go take this and park it back where it was. Yep. Yep. And then turn back on the auto loading. Just like the, uh, the strawberry. Gotcha. And then that is, we are all set. Cool. We'd have to go ahead and purchase this field, throw mystery on, get a forage harvester, get some, get some, uh, some trailers. We're going to have a fun old day. Yeah. And the 
that field. Uh, field's ready to be mowed as well. Not the not the farm field, but the field to the the east of it. I just saw you almost get hit by a train. <laughs> Activate auto load and detach. There we go. All right. Look at us doing things and stuff. Well, we were actually pretty quick with all. Yeah, this was a good productive session. We're at almost half a million dollars. We did sell our combine, though. Yeah, but we don't need it. Yeah, we're no, not going to need it, right? No, actually, something that I'm curious about. If you're willing to stay on the line for a little bit more. Yeah, what's up? What's our total net worth? Ooh, what is our we total We add up worth? everything. What is our total net worth? Because I did this... I did this after one of our sessions... And it came out to like 1.4 million, which is really funny because we started with 1.5. Oh, yeah, we've done all that and we still haven't really made any money. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so let me go ahead and start adding all this shit up here. Because you have to remember anything that we've bought, and I'm trying to be to, to buy things and not just lease them all the time. Although I'm, I'm starting to think that might that may not be the best strategy. Uh, every time we buy something, you know, we pay that whole driving right off the lot fee, you know. Yeah. Oh, so I think no. that's where some of our money's going to. <laughs> My favorite teacher from high school, who I was really good friends with, and. He he liked to pick on me. I liked to pick on him, and we were just really good friends. Um, just got just became the principal of the school district, the high school in the school district where Isabel goes. So oh she, boy, yeah, she's that's going to be her principal, and well, that poor kid, <laughs> like next year she has an opportunity. She could be in, in one of the girls that I graduated with, she'd be in her class as a fifth grader next year, and okay. um, I think this poor kid's coming in with a reputation, and I just I feel so bad because <laughs> you know I wasn't a bad kid I really wasn't I was you know we we goofed off and and we got into we did dumb shit but we weren't like we weren't the troublemakers. We were just the ones that were always like, all right, you know, who who wire tied all the freshman lockers shut? Well, then go find John. I know it was him. <laughs> you know, stuff like that, you know, which, which we did. You know, we did this, shit uh, like that. And, but, this uh, one time at band camp. Nice. We, uh, we tied all. So you basically have like a dormitory set up. And we got string, and because the doors open inwards, we tied all the handles across the hall to each other. <laughs> and when we did this, we went out our window, let somebody down to the floor because we were not on the ground floor, <laughs> so that we could get our own door, and it wouldn't look suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, we get yelled at because, well, that's a fire hazard. Oh, yeah, you think? <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sir? Sir? What are, you, what are you stopped for, sir? Oh, one of the cars. I can't see what you're looking at right now because on the stream right now you're just running through the corn as fast as you can. <laughs> what are you yelling at? He who walks among the rows? <laughs> Jeez, we've got, we've got just a lot of onesie twosie shit. Why are you teabagging a car? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we need to we need to wait until it's dark. This is perfect for spooky season. <laughs> So you know in that movie when they've got that that shot of the actual the monster coming through the corn and it's like underneath the corn. Uh-huh. So they they made basically like a turtle shaped piece of metal. And they buried that along with the chain and they hooked the chain to a tractor. And they just pulled it underneath the sucker to get that effect. Like, huh. Really simple way to do it. <laughs> Okay, if we're adding up the equipment, we're at 615,000. Okay. And then if you add up our field, <laughs> we can sell that for 515. And then what's our current cash at? Uh, 47,485. So we're at 1.588 million. Hey, so we've made $88 million. Yeah. That's very true. Technically, we still do have some product to sell. Actually, no, we don't. We really only have the potatoes, and we're going to hold on to we that. Have the, we have oh. the bales of silage over there. We do have the bales of silage. Actually, if you wanted to, we could sleep another month and sell those. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll No, call. we can sell those right now. Well, let's do what it. What am I thinking? Because we've actually waited a couple months since we did that. Good, because I still have silage in the back of the truck that I forgot about for multiple months on end. For that smells great in there. Bonk. And oh, we no. are screwed. <laughs> oh, God. God damn. Bunch of silage bales and one grass bale. Oh, you don't even need me. Oh, no, there's a couple. Actually, no, I know there's three more that need to be moved. I'm taking this to the animal place. Yes, the livestock market. stuff out of the back of the truck too so i forgot to do that earlier Just dump it all over the the tongue of the trailer yeah that'll work you know very clearly outside of the uh, the loading zone as well you know yes yeah, uh, details yeah no that's a good place to end it cool Oh, yeah, that is an excellent place to end it. Well, do... I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna fix it. Good. You guys can all just wait for me, because you're too stupid to use the passing zone. No, that's that's perfect too. Yeah, there it is. Now we're done. <laughs> all right. Well, shout out, uh, Ravel. Thanks for hanging out as always. Yeah, anytime. And as long uh, as it's every two weeks. Happy birthday to Mystery, <laughs> even though he's not here. Uh, happy birthday to Spark, because you said it was their birthday as well. And you know, the worst part is I sent Mystery a text over D over Discord, and I forgot to send Spark one. Oh shame! <laughs> uh, Spark was best man at my wedding. <laughs> oh, double shame! <laughs> I'm so bad. And then uh, thanks for Obi Wayne for hanging out for a few minutes, and he'll hopefully be joining us next week. So yeah, all right, well, 
Everybody have a good night. Look at that. Real Mystery is live. Be able to rate him. Oh,